Hey, it's the Roger Williams Media Minute, and today I want to talk with you about Google Analytics. So Google Analytics, what is that? Okay, basically when you've got a website, people go to it and they interact on there, all of that information is trackable. Google Analytics allows you to use another free service from Google to track how many people are coming to your website, how long they're on there, what pages they're going to, what type of browser they're using, where they're from, and so on and so forth. There's so much information, it really could take hours for me to go through it all. The basic thing I want you to get out of this video is that if you've got a business and you've got a website and you do not have Google Analytics or some sort of analytics program, you're basically running a business without a cash register. Well, with the website, it's even worse with analytics because without analytics on there, you really have no idea what's going on on your website, okay? You can anecdotally talk to people and, hey, what do you think of my website? Oh, it looks really pretty. But it doesn't tell you anything about how much time they're actually spending on the website, where they're going to on the website, if they're accomplishing goals such as filling out the web form, clicking on the phone number if they're on a mobile phone, what search keywords they typed into Google to get to your website, uh, what referring websites are sending traffic to you. You have no idea about any of this. And Google Analytics is really easy to set up. Like I said, it's a free account. There's a little bit of JavaScript code that you need to put into your pages and boom, you start tracking all this information. You need to get this set up today if you don't already have it. Now, if you do have it, there's a lot of things about analytics that can make you think that you're looking at important information when in fact, nothing's really coming out of this good. The biggest one is the, of this is visitors. You might get excited that you've got 10,000 people coming to your website each month. But what if all 10,000 of those people have no interest in anything that your website has to offer and they leave immediately and they never purchase anything. Well, that traffic is worthless to you. So while visitor number is nice and it makes you feel good when it's going up, it's not necessarily important. What you also want to look at are a few other factors. One of them being bounce rate. Now this is a tricky number. Um, what happens is when someone comes to your website and then they hit the back button and they leave your website, that's counted as a bounce. Well, so what's happening here? In one way, that's not good. It means that they've come to your website and whatever they were looking for wasn't there. Your website did not deliver on something that they needed, so they left. On the other hand, they came to your website, they saw your phone number, they called you and became a customer. Well, in that case, it's just fine that they bounced off your website. Maybe they closed their browser right then and that's now called a bounce. But you know, you can still look at bounce rates and get an idea, especially if you're doing like a paid uh, Google pay-per-click campaign. If your bounce rate is really high, then that tells you that you need to either tweak what keywords you're bidding on or you need to tweak the content on your website. So a little bit of insights there. But at the end of the day, the most important things that you need to be tracking are conversions on your website. What are conversions? Well, conversions are really anything you want them to be. The most obvious one is they go to your contact form, they fill out the form and they hit submit. You can set up Google Analytics to track that as a goal and therefore a conversion. And then you can see, hey, somebody did a search on Google for this keyword, they came to the site, they went to X amount of pages, and then they filled out that web form. And that gives you insight into going, wow, okay, if that's converting, then we need to do more content on that. If you're doing a paid advertising campaign, same exact thing. If there's a referral site, so let's say it's basically any site that's not a search engine, let's say Yelp, Facebook, uh, you know, any, any, any type of website that's out there that's not Google or Bing or Yahoo, sending you traffic and that stuff's converting, maybe you should reach out to that website and figure out how you can be better positioned on there so you can get even more business out of it. Maybe you need to find out the five websites that are similar to that site and make sure you're on them and you're set up correctly because something on that site is triggering people to come to your site and then become your customers. So that's, that's Google Analytics in a very brief nutshell. As I said, there is a limitless amount of things that you can do on analytics. 
It's tracking a ton of stuff. I recommend if you really want to learn this stuff, you know, obviously go sign up, get a Google Analytics account going, you know, set it up on your website. There's a ton of books. The big one that I like is uh, from a Googler named Avinash Kashinik. I'll even put some information over here, you know, what books to get. But uh, he walks you through what are important to look at, how to create reports that you can give executives that have actionable data. You really want to be getting on this. Uh, like I said, if you're a business owner and you're not doing Google Analytics, you're flying blind right now. All that money you're spending on, on being online is worthless because you're not taking any action as far as what's happening. It's a living, breathing organism. Traffic changes with the seasons. So you need to be ready for these changes and get content ready and then be able to track what content was actually effective in making you money so you can spend more time and effort on that. My email's right there. Comments are down below. Let me know what you think. What did I miss? I'm sure it was a ton, but you know that's where that's where we got to start. This is Friday, so congratulations. Uh, until next time, rock on.